right, hi everybody, it's time for another Mondays with Mike. Dear Mike, I have an opportunity to be interviewed for a sales job working internationally. I will work two weeks from the United States and then another two weeks in Europe. I will do this for at least a year. What suggestions do you have for prep and research on this company? That is a company that's going to spend a lot of money on sales. The first thing I would do is I'd do thorough research about the company's European operation. Uh, and examine what their sales strategies currently are. If it's a public company, you can go to their website and read their annual report. It'll tell you a lot about their European expansion or their overseas expansion. It strikes me, though, as a little bit odd that they're going to hire a stateside person to spend six months a year overseas, and they only want to do it two weeks in, two weeks out, two weeks in, two weeks out. I mean, maybe that's totally traditional in your industry. I don't know. But that is a pretty significant investment on their part. I mean, they're going to be investing, I don't know, three or $4,000 a month more than that, probably $5,000 a month just in travel. So I would interview them and ask them when you get to talk to them, ask them some questions about why they're not hiring a European person to handle it. What is it about uh, the assignment? Is there ult what is their ultimate plan for the assignment? Is it ultimately that they're going to uh, be focused on doing things uh, more European based and not need an American presence? And then I would also do evaluate it against the backdrop of your own professional plans. Keep in mind that what they're asking you to do is spend six months a year in total uh, out of the country. And are you willing to do that kind of thing? Take it from a person that travels all the time. It's glamorous for the first few months, and then it starts to wear on you. But I don't know what your family status is. I don't know what your core values are. Take a look at that. Because this company, depending on their age and their expansion plans, may or may not have the sustainability for a full year. I will tell you that if the offer's for a full year, I would get the contract committed financially for a full year. So in case they decide to pull out in Europe, you're not left hanging after three months uh, when your own business or work is, uh, may suffer uh, from being overseas. That being said, that's a pretty cool gig when you can uh, work overseas some. Take care. Bye-bye.